of Insight Brave Arsenal. Brought to you by the Destiny 2 dev team. Yesterday's live stream, centered on Destiny 2 Into the Light, showcased the Brave Arsenal, a collection of iconic weapons from Destiny's past. Today, we delve deeper into reintroducing these legendary weapons into the current sandbox, alongside their limited edition variations. Without delay, we pass the torch to our weapons team. Introducing Brave Arsenal. Greetings. Chris Proctor and the weapons team here to unveil the Destiny 2 Into the Light weapons set. In Destiny 2 Into the Light, our aim was to revive as many iconic weapons from Destiny's history as possible, including nostalgic favourites from the original Destiny, featuring updated designs and revamped or new perks. Some of these weapons are no longer acquirable, while others are exclusive to endgame activities. These weapons were sourced from various origins such as raids, pinnacle weapons, black armoury and even a notable meme. The selection process involved carefully balancing the reconstruction of certain weapons against others, resulting in a representation of different game eras and weapon types. The final lineup consists of 12 iconic weapons cherished by players. Many now have random roles for the first time, while some boast updated perk pools. Our goal was to preserve their original essence, with some retaining their initial stat packages, while others were adjusted to fit the current weapon sandbox. It's important to note that only the Destiny 2 into the light versions feature updated perk pools compared to the currently available weapons in the game. Each weapon is equipped with a new origin trait, indomitability, and some may roll with a new right column trait, desperate measures. Furthermore, we ensured that all brave arsenal weapons meet our current standards of artistic quality, maintaining a cohesive visual theme throughout the set. Behold, brave arsenal, here are the 12 weapons that have made a comeback. Forbearance the Witch Queen, Season of the Risen this wave frame grenade launcher, has been a staple in PV with its combination of ambitious assassin and chain reaction. Originally from the Vow of the Disciple raid, acquiring it typically requires ownership of the Witch Queen and participation in the raid. We've updated its perk pool to include Disruption Break, Demolitionist and more. Third column, unrelenting, stats for all, demolitionist, ambitious assassin, surplus, steady hands and disruption break. Fourth column, wellspring, golden tricorn, one for all, bait and switch, chain reaction, rampage and desperate measures. Succession beyond light, season of the hunt, this sniper rifle, featuring reconstruction and vorpal weapon, stands out for its automatic reloading and high impact. Widely used in long range raid and nightfall encounters, it lured players to the deep stone crypt raid. Just like Forbearance, this version is accessible to all players, regardless of Beyond Light ownership. Third column moving target, no distractions, lead from gold, reconstruction, firmly planted, demolitionist and discord. Fourth column snapshot sights, redirection, recombination, vorpal weapon, focused fury, firing line and box breathing. Falling guillotine shadowkeep. Season of Arrivals descended from the Dark Drinker Sword in the original Destiny. Falling Guillotine quickly rose to prominence in the sword meta upon its release. With updated perks like Repulsor Brace destabilizing rounds and Chain Reaction surrounded, it remains a fan favorite. Third Column Vorpal Weapon, Relentless Strikes, Repulsor Brace, Frenzy, Attrition Orbs, Chain Reaction and Duelist's Trance. Fourth Column Surrounded, Whirlwind Blade, Destabilizing Rounds, Eager Edge, Bait and Switch, Sword Logic, and Desperate Measures. The Recluse Forsaken, Season of the Drifter originally a pinnacle crucible reward. The Recluse dominated both PV and PVP, featuring the iconic Master of Arms perk. Now back with random roles, including a balanced version of Master of Arms, it remains a formidable choice in both game modes. Third column feeding frenzy, enlightened action, subsistence, threat detector, repulsor brace, hip fire grip, and dynamic sway reduction. Fourth column master of arms, target lock frenzy, destabilizing rounds, surrounded, tap the trigger, and desperate measures. The mountain top forsaken. Season of the Forge, a pinnacle PvP weapon known for its high damage output, the mountaintop now features a new breach grenade launcher intrinsic perk alongside its original traits. Designed to maintain its PV strength while adjusting aspects like self-damage, it offers a fresh experience without dominating the PvP meta. We decided to rebuild Micro Missile, enhancing its PV strength while reducing self-damage and significantly increasing physics impulse. 
The third column features ambitious assassin, impulse amplifier, demolitionist, lead from gold, slick draw, auto-loading holster, and overflow. In the fourth column, you'll find perks like Rampage, Vorpal Weapon, Adrenaline Junkie, One for All, Harmony, Recombination and Frenzy. Hammerhead Forsaken, Season of the Forge Destiny 2's first legendary machine gun, Hammerhead is making a comeback. Known as one of the best in its class, it returns with top-tier perks and the iconic Black Armory style. Citing new perk combinations like Rampage Killing Tally and Rampage Desperate Measures make it ideal for PvE. The third column includes perks such as Feeding Frenzy, Destabilizing Rounds, Envious Assassin and more. In the fourth column, you'll find options like Surrounded, High Impact Reserves, Killing Tally and Desperate Measures. Blast Furnace Forsaken, Season of the Forge, the beloved aggressive burst pulse rifle, Blast Furnace, now comes with the Rasmussen Isoscope by default and offers barrels in the first column. With new perks like Kinetic Tremors Firefly Flay for PvE and Zen Moment Rapid Hit for PvP, Blast Furnace remains a powerhouse. The third column features Zen Moment, Snapshot, Kinetic Tremors and others, while the fourth column includes Firefly, Rampage and Rapid Hit. Edge Transit Forsaken, season of the Outlaw Edge Transit, a fan favorite heavy grenade launcher, has been revamped to become one of the strongest in the game. Notable perks include Chain Reaction, Cascade Point, and more in the third column, and Frenzy, destabilizing rounds and full court in the fourth column. The weapon was instrumental in the heavy grenade launcher buff in the 7.3.5 update. Lunar's Howl Forsaken, Season of the Outlaw Lunar's Howl, a precision frame hand cannon, underwent changes to balance its performance. The magnificent Howl perk now requires more effort for its rewards, allowing for two taps with increased range and damage. The third column features Eye of the Storm, Subsistence and others, while the fourth column includes Magnificent Howl, Kill Clip and more. No, it didn't make sense to ship Not Forgotten in this release, but we're on the lookout for a good opportunity to bring it back too. Midnight Coup in Year 1 of Destiny 2 was a powerful hand cannon for both PvP and PV activities due to its unique traits and impressive stats. To keep it relevant, we have refreshed its abilities and introduced a new perk pool. Look out for combinations like Outlaw Rampage for the original feel or Firefly Kinetic Tremors for PV and Moving Target Zen Moment for PvP engagements. Hung Jury SR4, a fan favourite from Destiny, has made a return in Destiny 2's Season of the Splicer. Featuring options like Rewind Rounds and Firefly, this weapon maintains its legacy with a variety of perks for different playstyles. Elsie's Rifle, formerly known as the Stranger's Rifle, is a classic pulse rifle from the original Destiny campaign. Now revamped as a void weapon, it offers top-tier perks for both PV and PvP scenarios. These weapons will be available starting April 9th, with others unlocking weekly until May 21st. The Brave Arsenal weapons will still drop from Onslaught after the final shape event, but the limited edition variants will no longer be accessible after June 3rd. Act fast to add them to your collection. We trust you share our excitement for Onslaught and the Brave Arsenal, and that the information we provided today was helpful. Stay tuned for more updates. Our third and final livestream on Destiny 2 Into the Light is scheduled for April 2nd, just one week before the content update launches on April 9th. We're eager for it. Until then, eyes up Guardian.